guys. Today is Friday, April the 13th. Fridays are awesome. Yes, they are. I want to give a quick shout out this morning to Girls Across 20 to 1 victory last night. Already sent in their paperwork for hopefully a playoff berth. So good job, guys. Also want to give a shout out today to Jeray Smith. Jeray, as you know, one of our uh, one of our great players. Uh, we've got a bunch of great players on girls basketball, but she picked up a, a, a offer th- this week from Wofford College. And if you know anything about Wofford College, it's about sixty thousand dollars a year to go to school there. So keep up the good work, Jeray. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I'm totally surprised by this and the way it's kind of taken off this week, but. Coffee with Coach on Friday has been awesome. So, let's keep rolling. It's funny, yesterday, I won't name any names, Josh Howard, but uh, Coach, did you know those words that you held up, they were backwards? Bad boy, Josh. (laughs) I don't know how to fix that, but we'll work on it. But today our topic is going to be something that is really important. Uh, one of the biggest issues we see every day on a high school campus. And when you've taught for as long as I have, you realize, or you will hear frequently, the, the, the term or the phrase, he disrespected me. And that leads to a lot of problems in today's society, in today's culture. My question is, if you're so worried about what someone else is doing and that they may be disrespectful to you, Maybe we should also have some reflection and say, maybe I should have some, maybe I should have more respect for myself. First instance, your language. If you stand in the hallway at a high school, in a public high school, in any state across this country, the language that you're going to hear most often times is not good. And I just want you to know. That your language is a choice. Your language is a choice. Now, I'm talking to myself too now. I'm not just talking to you guys. We, me included, are still responsible for what we say even when we're mad. And sometimes when we're mad, we think it gives us a pass on what we say. But just remember, we're even responsible for what we say when we're mad. And so with that being said, I want to talk to you a little bit. There was a, one of the leaders in the civil rights movement was a man named Malcolm X. And if you've studied anything or know anything about Malcolm X, his name originally was Malcolm Little. Uh, but after he converted to Islam, he decided to drop his uh, surname because it had been given to him uh, or to his ancestors and passed on. Uh, but that was the last name of the slave owner at, of the slave owner of that particular family, and he didn't know at what his actual real last name was, and so he dropped Malcolm Little, and he became Malcolm X. He chose X simply because X in algebra, go ask Miss Sexton, X in algebra stands for the unknown. But he also wrote a book by any means necessary, and it was an autobiography. And in that book, uh, which I read in college, he makes a very profound statement. And he says, people use profanity because their vocabulary is so limited that they can't express their thoughts using appropriate words. There is not a day that goes by that I don't stop in my tracks because I hear a student drop the F-bomb in casual conversation. There are some kids that cuss so much, they don't even know they're cussing. I'll stop and talk to them and I'll say, hey, you know, and when they'll, they'll actually get mad at me because I correct their language. Now, have I slipped up? Absolutely. Please don't ever think that Coach Carter's a perfect guy. I don't know why my wife puts up with me, to be honest with you, but your language is a choice. Your vocabulary is not that small. And what that shows is a lack of education. So I would challenge you, try to go a day without using a profanity. Maybe some of you need to cut it back and maybe try to go an hour. You might need to go 10 minutes. But I'm going to tell you, I think some of the influence that has allowed profanity to kind of sneak into our culture is what we listen to. 
can't go to the movies anymore with your family and not hear profanity. You can't turn on the radio station, whether it's country, rock, uh, rap. It's all just, it's become a part of our culture. But just keep in mind, people use profanity because of their lack of, of a vocabulary that allows them to express themselves uh, using appropriate words. Guys, this has been an awesome, awesome week. I can't wait to get to school today. I'll be standing at the front door. I've had so many people come by. I've had so many parents say, hey, man, what you're doing is great. I'm just trying to share my 25 years experience as a high school teacher. This is not about me. I hope that you know that. And if you know Coach Carter, you know what, it, what he's about. So I love you guys. Have the best Friday possible. And uh, go Wildcats. See you.